Sharon, just uh, with KK, mm -hmm. her floor game, obviously her defense was a big spark, mm -hmm. but just how she bounced back so quickly after after yesterday. No, I think it was a huge key. You know, we just talked that um, it's, her t it's her turn. You know, we've had different players. We've all played great. Defense, team defense, sharing the basketball. Uh, but certain players stepped up each game. And I, you know, and I said, you're going to be the one that steps up and, uh, you know, carries us through today. And, and she actually absolutely did that, you know. And uh, KK's uh, has gotten stronger. Her leadership still has continued to get, uh, get better. And she doesn't carry one game to the next. Uh, Coach, I, I'm looking for something, some sexy way to define team because I see 10 different players with rebounds, nine different players scored. Seven different players had assists, and eight different players had played at least 18 minutes. I mean, is this team unique in that way? That you've had so many different people that just kind of plug in and fit in whenever. Well, it's it's uh, it's been the history of our program this year. You know, uh, we've been very successful. Again, we keep talking about adversity and resilience, and uh, players that haven't been able to play, so someone else has to step up. And uh, it's when we're at our best, we have players stepping up and doing things left and right to help each other. Um, and I think that's huge. And, um, you know, and we're a true team. Like we talk, we don't talk about individuals. You don't see just one face everywhere uh, on our program. It's about the whole, uh, the whole team. Coach, can you just talk about executing late in the game you did yesterday? Obviously, the game winner, and then here in overtime, just the mentality of your team late in games and, and their ability to overcome. Well, the biggest thing is that we wanted to, we had one bad turnover, uh, but other than that, we needed to stay poised and make sure we got a shot. Um, and and it, it just comes back to being in tough games. We've been in a lot of close games. We pulled the majority of out, um, a majority of them out. Um, you know, the Michigan State, uh, when it went into overtime, we had a chance. We, we didn't, sh you know, get the shot. And then obviously when Nebraska beat us. So those kind of stick in your mind. So we wanted to make sure that we finished. Coach, when um, Moore kind of lobbed up, lobbed up that uh, three-pointer um, with about three seconds left. What were you guys trying to do defensively? What was what was your plan there? The very last one? Uh, in the second overtime. When we were ahead when by four or when? Three. W yeah, when, three. when Moore tried oh. to tie it. Okay. Well, we did was switch every single screen. Um, you know, we just switched, switched, switched. They're trying to go to Moore. They're trying to go to Hooper. And um, KK switch, Chelsea switch, KK switch, Chelsea. We just stayed on that one side of the floor, and we just had our hands straight up. And um, she had to launch it, and we secured the rebound. The way Chantel took advantage of her athleticism mm -hmm. today, um, and you know, Connie said they really didn't have a matchup for her, and just how she 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 took that game to the level where she was able to get the ten boards and really impact mm -hmm. the game down low. Well, <laughs> like Sh Chantel said, that very last rebound, she goes, Coach, I felt like I was flying. I'm like, you were. Um, you know, I mean, you never, when she comes through there, I mean, her, I think her, uh, uh, her wrists were way above, um, obviously, the, the rim. But she's very athletic. She's explosive. You know, she uh, didn't felt like she finished exceptionally well. She was 5 for 10, you know, maybe two layups. But we just believe in Chantel, and she's a big reason why we keep growing and getting better. She's taking her outside shot. She can score down low. Uh, so, you know, she doesn't have those weaknesses like she's had in the past. Can you just talk about the uh, the two plays at the end of, end of regulation when uh, Moses was blocked and then the, mm -hmm. the overtime when KK missed and sort of what you were looking for? I know the second one you didn't have Brittany in there. Mm -hmm. um, to sort of go through uh, what you were hoping for on both those. Well, we, um, first of all, with Courtney, <coughs> we're just going to have her attack the basket. Um, if she didn't have anything, we're going to set a double screen and get Brittany on the backside. Uh, Courtney ended up taking it, rather maybe attacking and getting it to Brittany, but there's a couple seconds left. So um, they ended up having um, three on her, so we're trying to get around her. So it was more developing for her shot or for Brittany's. The other one, we're supposed to execute a play and it blew up. So KK got it, and then she obviously attacked and uh, had an opportunity. Coach, what kind of momentum does this build going into the NCAAs? Oh, great. Um, you know, when you can win uh, three games in three days, uh, you're just exceptionally excited. Um, we, we put this goal down to be Big Ten champs, whether it's regular season or tournament champs. When we're in Europe, sitting next to some water, and <laughs> – enjoying um, you know that trip um, and I'm just so proud of this group uh, I just couldn't be more proud and you know now we can they can just really flourish this and, and just you know take it now we have the NCAA hosting at home so you know hopefully we'll get a good seed. 
from the first time you played them and they hit some threes late, did you learn anything from that game or did you just play defense on the perimeter in late game situations better today? We played, um, uh, we just played better defense in late game situations because we were switching. We played different defense than we did the first time. Uh, they weren't knocking down threes and then, you know, Hooper na nailed it and more and we're like, okay, here we go again, you know, but um, our defense is the key and I think Chelsea Jones just with her height caused a lot of problems. We we're trying to get Hooper to put the ball on the floor um, and try to get some charges, um, uh, but I just thought we defended better and then they started taking it to the hole, obviously, when we had the mismatch of Moore and like against Chelsea and our help side need to come over.